Konnichiwa arigato, my sweet potatoes, it's your boy Techno, aka Himanshu. So hey there everyone, I'm Himanshu Mara and welcome to 3 editing tricks Filmora editing series. In this, I'm gonna teach you 3 editing tricks per video. It's gonna be a little long so don't mind that but we're gonna learn something new. So without any further ado, let's start the video. So at first we're gonna learn how to create this. So to create this kind of custom opener, simply go to the sample colors, now take any sample color and put it on the timeline. Now double click on the sample color and go to its transform section. Now decrease the scale to any ratio that you want to, it's your choice. For me, I'm going with 13%. Okay now, go here and left click hold this portion and then stretch it out so that our color will mold into this kind of shape. Now align it to the center. Okay now you can see that our sample color is kind of looking like a white box. Now once again double click on the sample color and this time go to the motion tab. Now scroll down till you see this to the left one and to the right one animations. Now for this video, I'm choosing the right motion, but you can also go for the to the left one. It's your choice. So now double click on the motion to apply it on the sample color. And now our sample color will have this kind of motion. Okay, now take another sample color and put it above the second track in the timeline. Now right click on the first sample color and click on copy effects. Now right click on the second sample color and click on paste effects. So now both the sample color will have the same kind of animation applied to them. Okay now let's put the second sample color slightly after. Let's put it after 4 frames. And now if you play then you can see that it will give you this kind of delay animation. Okay now add an sample color and also put it 4 frames after. And then right click on it and click on paste effects. So now we will get this kind of animation. It kinda looks cool. Okay now it's time to add the text. So simply go to the titles tab, into the data section and now take this default title and put it above the text at the very start. Now double click on the text and go to its advanced settings. And then write your own text and change the font size if you want to. Also adjust the font size so that it will fit our sample box. Now once that is done, simply click here on the animation tab. And now scroll down till you again see that to the right one animation here. And now simply double click on it to apply it on the text. So now our text will also follow the same kind of animation as of sample color. Now the final output will be something like this. We have created our very own custom title opener. You can use this as a lower third or a title or an opener, whichever way that you want to. Also, one more thing. If you happen to export it into a video to use it later on, then don't do that. Because if you were to export it and then let's say put it on a video, and then if you go to its compositing and change it, then it will not look good. It will look blended. If you want to go for a blended one, then you can surely do that. 
but I won't recommend it because it kind of takes away that harsh gradient from it. Also, do keep in mind that this kind of opener is only for directly applying and following the steps on the video itself using the sample colors instead of exporting and then applying. So guys, it's now time for the second trick. This is what I'm gonna teach you. Okay, remember what I just taught you before on how to create that custom opener? So this required that opener to be remain and then add some other additional stuff. After remaking this custom opener, simply take the title and put it one track above. Now go to the effects tab into the e filter section and now to the background blur section and now take this first basic blur and now put it below the text on the timeline and above the sample colors. Ok now again take the text and put it one track above and now put your video below the text track. Ok now double click on the video and then go to its compositing and change it to overlay. So now you will see this kind of opener effect. It looks awesome and kind of psychedelic. Okay now if you double click on the basic blur filter, then you can here also change the source width to either increase or decrease the size of the visual window here. We can also increase and decrease the luminance to blend the color fade too. It totally depends on your choice. And now, our effect is done. We can use it to create any type of custom opener effect that we want to. And we can also change the direction if we want to. It totally depends on our choice and our creativity. Okay guys, so for the third trick, I'm gonna teach you how to create this. You know what, it is super easy to do. So once inside your Filmora, simply go to the title tab, into the title section and then take this default title and put it on the timeline. Ok now double click on the title and go to its advanced settings. Now write your own social media credentials here. And also change the font if you want to. Ok now decrease the font size and now put it anywhere on the screen. I will put it on the bottom left. Ok now click on this icon here and I will open your file manager. Ok now take any social media icon and select it. So now I will put that social media icon here on the video. You can get the social media icon from Google. Ok now decrease the size of the icon to about the same size of the text. And also adjust the position before the text. Something kind of like this. And now go to the animations tab. Ok now select the icon. And now here select any animation that you want to use. The possibilities are limitless. But for this video, I will choose this pin for animation. Now you can see the animation on effect. Ok now select the text and also apply the same animation on the text too. So our final result will be something like this. Here is our minimal and custom social media callout. Also like I said before you can apply any animation here. 
Doing so will give you the ability to create any social media callout of different animation type and you can create any number of these. It is quite fast and easy to do. So yeah guys this is our first video on the 3 video editing tricks in Filmora. More editing tricks are coming soon. This is me Himanshu Mera signing out and I will see you later.